Hello marching band flutes. This is day one of at home sectionals. So today we'll be going over the beginning of Captain America March from measures 1 to 23. So here we go. At the beginning here it's pretty straightforward just B flat and then we have a little run up to the next couple of B flats. So this one you can play just like normal. Just coming straight up to it. But it is slightly easier if you use an alternate fingering for B flat. Normally you play it like this, with this finger, this finger, pinky, and thumb. But it's easier if you take your thumb and you move it over to this key instead of this one. So if you put your thumb on this key, you don't need this finger. Makes no difference. So now you can play it, this run, just lifting up the fingers. Instead of having to put this one back down at the top. So that'll make this first run easier. And the next big thing you'll see is here in measure four, we've got this um, G flat, which you'll play as an F sharp, up to the higher octave G flat, still F sharp, and then back down. This one's not marked flat, but because of the measure rule, it still is. So connecting these, we have this squiggly line, and that means glissando which is a little tough to play on a flute. Um, you will play every chromatic note between the two. So that's obviously not gonna be very possible here in this song. So if you're not comfortable with it, just play the straight quarter notes as they're written. And that'll be fine. And if you're comfortable with that and you're ready to try a little bit of a challenge, try to get a couple of the notes there or just wiggle your fingers around on the way up. And that'll be fine. That'll be a little bit more fun than just playing the straight notes if you're ready for a challenge. So after that, we'll see in the next couple measures, we have a bit of a syncopated rhythm. So we'll go rest da da dun dun da dun 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 da da dun So that'll make more sense as you hear it with the rest of the band. So the counting for that section will be one and a two and three and a four and one and two and three and a four. So it'll sound something like this. After that, we have a B flat trill, which will go from B flat to C, which this trill is also easier if you use the other fingering I showed you, moving your thumb, because now to get from B flat to C, all you have to do is move your thumb, rather than having to move two fingers at once. So you'll play the trill. And now we have here another syncopated rhythm. So this rhythm will go one and two and three and four and. So that one is also easier if you can hear it with the rest of the band. And then another trill, just the same. And then the next measure is the same as, same rhythm as measure eight, just different notes. And then we have another syncopated rhythm which this one again is easier with the rest of the band. And then we have another glissando, which it goes this time from the F naturals. So this one you can also play just the notes that are written, or you can try to get in a couple of the notes. So you can either play, or you can try to throw in a couple of the chromatic notes in between. So whichever one you feel more comfortable with. Then we have the same syncopated rhythm from two measures ago. Then we go straight into some quarter notes. Now at measure 15, we'll have some staccato eighth notes. So these ones you can play like super staccato quarter notes. So the rhythm is actually pretty easy. And now we have here a quarter rest, a quarter note, and now another glissando, this one from G to F. So you can play just the written notes or you can throw in some other notes. Or. And then it basically repeats, except the second time around, the glissando starts on F and not G. Then it um, basically repeats again, except that we go back to the F glissando that goes both up and down. And then the eighth notes again. And then 
this last glissando, you could basically just play a super fast B flat scale. So the last two measures before 23 are. Then that is the first part of Captain America March. And now I'll play it along with the recording from J.W. Pepper so that you can hear how it's supposed to sound with the rest of the band. <laughs> 